Oh, that's a little hard. I've never. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go into. <laughs> and Dale. now we do see the Mewtwo. Uh, I haven't seen Dill's Diddy all night. Going yeah. Mewtwo against Sage. Going Sheik and Mewtwo against Milk. Uh, I don't know. If we played in the beginning rounds of tonight, but. Staying away from Diddy so far in the last few rounds. Yeah, well, okay, John, well, John has a very good track record against Diddy. Yes. And like we mentioned earlier, Mewtwo Both Dill and Angel. Is, yeah. Mewtwo is, I think, a very bad matchup for a Wii Fit. Yeah, one of the worst. I would um, say uh, up there with maybe Kirby and Cloud. Yeah, uh, I don't think Cloud's as bad, but it's this is good. definitely, <laughs> de definitely, it's definitely one of the, the yeah, worst Yeah, it's, it's, this is one of the worst matchups for Wii Fit. Like, you know, John, John will win the match sometimes because, you know, he's a Wii Fit main, but it's not the greatest. Because um, it, it's situations like these, like, Mewtwo can kind of pressure Wii Fit as a, at a safe distance. He also has an aerial. Um, and his projectile can't be punished by Wii Fit. So the way we see with Fox, you know, whenever Sage would laser, we'd see John throw out the sun and beat it out. And then worst case scenario, John takes, you know, five damage. And he gets a ton of damage on Sage. Now, uh, Saddle Ball will cancel out, and, and that reflected sun is not quite going to kill. Yeah, it's funny because uh, John usually ducks that, but it was at such a close distance, he couldn't do anything about that. And that's another thing about Mewtwo's reflector. It reaches out in front of him, so you have a lot less time, and there's more situations where John will be unable to do anything about it. Yeah, like, all deal is really... Good up Smash Hunter <laughs> Shield, and that's going to be the first stop. him with the Silver Surfer. I love that move, and I hate it at the same time, but it was a great punch. I love that move when I'm not playing against Mewtwo. Yeah, I, I love. Yeah, you know, I, I love. I love that move when I'm not playing against any Mewtwo in the world, especially Leo. I hate Leo. Um, yeah. So back into the back into the game. Uh, yeah, numbers is at a very huge deficit. All Dill really has been doing is spamming down tilt. <laughs> and it's, it's hard to beat. Uh, you know, he's using the reflector, the shadow ball, and the down tilt. And it's a tough combination, but the wow. reverse edge guard with the down air spike from numbers. Yeah. Okay. So a, co a common thing I, I do see from a lot of Mewtwo's is they like to spam uh, Mewtwo's air dodge. It's a very good air dodge, but it can it's be very, very, very good. It can be very predictable. I think he was looking for the platform reset right there. Uh, yeah. It was almost the right height for that. Yeah, so um, he pretty much looks for a jab block off of that. If he, if he yeah, down the header will jab block. Yeah, he missed the tech. It, uh, it's, uh, I think it's in there. I might be wrong. Uh, there's the header hitbox without the ball oh. will jab block. So if okay. he spaces it so that the ball won't hit, but only the header, it'll get the jab block. Yeah. Uh, so you can get that at low percents on battlefield platforms, uh, like very low percents with down throw header. Uh, on the ground, and there are certain percents where you can get it on Town and City. He doesn't cancel it in time, and <laughs> that's going to be a yeah. very strange game going the way of Dill. Yeah, pretty tough. I mean, uh, Numbers did a good job bringing that back, but um, Mewtwo just has a lot of tools to edge guard Wii Fit, which a lot of characters don't have. You can see the got the, him with the what are those? The, the, de the devastating down smash, and he just shot it. And kind of <laughs> rare for Numbers to do that. He usually gets those spot dodges. Yeah, usually ready to cancel it in time, and we're seeing more Town and City. Uh, no, we're not. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, Thank hope you guys have enjoyed your time on Town and City. Uh, <laughs> I, hope, I hope you enjoyed your time at the park, guys. This is a <laughs> Still trying to SD in style and not doing it, but he's close. He just SD, just die already, guys. Um, so, <laughs> what do you think? What, what stage do you think um, numbers are going to pick? In the um, I don't know, because usually I would say FD for Wii Fit, but that's that like we, Mewtwo sort of invalidates what makes that a good stage for Wii Fit, which is yeah. projectiles. Uh, maybe Battlefield, maybe FD anyway. I, I would say maybe a, a Battlefield, Dreamland, and maybe we are going to Town back. and City anyway. I love my life. So, back to Town and City. Um, let's see if John can make the adjustments and try to get something generated a little bit earlier and do it. And you can see Numbers a little bit afraid in this matchup. So many times we saw him run up, grab. This time he knows Mewtwo can just down tilt that, so he does run up, roll back. Yeah, okay, because like Mewtwo has an aerial smash attack, and it's kind of unfair at times. It's frame six. Uh, that's the same frame as Zelda's forward air, uh, Zelda's back air rather, lightning kick, uh, but it's not sweet spotted. Oh. And Mewtwo's is almost as strong. Yeah. Not quite. I mean, I've killed people at 50 with that, but regardless. Very, very strong move, can combo into itself a couple of times. Yeah, so John, John is really struggling to generate any type of offense against Dill, and Dill is literally just walking up and down to him. Yeah. Uh, this is pretty... Uh, he has no reason to do anything else. Yeah, uh, this is pretty. It's pretty rough. Um, so I think John's best bet is to play a little bit more patient and not jump in the air as much. Because one of the things against Mewtwo is if you jump in the air a lot against Mewtwo, he could just swipe you out the air for it. Yeah. Um, Frame six forward air, very good neutral air that goes all around him. 
Uh, and if you fast fall, it can combo into a grab, can combo into up tilt, up smash. Yeah, I think I think what John can do is one of the big things in the matchup is, is if you're not good at power shield and shadow balls against Mewtwo, then you're going to be in for a, a bad time. I Try think to get John was going for a tomahawk grab right there, but it didn't yeah. quite work out. <sighs> going for a wall jump mix up. Dill was having and absolutely none of that, and we are one stock away from the end of Xeno 74. And I, I don't know what to say. Oh, he's going for another reflector, but uh, John managed to sneak that sun in there between them. Honestly, I think this is the way John needs to play the matchup. Because yes. he, need, he needs to play the matchup more grounded. Because that's the best chance we fit is going to have. Cause right every there, as soon as he went into the air, he got back air. Every Absolutely. time he's jumping, he's going to get hit. Sometimes it's, it could be your only option, but... You, you only want to do it when you're forced to, really. Yeah, you or, you know, when you have a specific read that they're going to do something that you can punish. Yeah. You know, the way we see with, like, a back air out of shield or something. That time he tries to space back air, but Dill had already rolled out of the way. Yeah. Goes for the down smash, but... Yeah, uh, yeah they'll, they'll want to be over with this. He, he doesn't want to... like, be, I have had enough of this, you know. Wow, that was a very nice nair. Um, the stuff out Mewtwo's nair, actually. Now let's see what Numbers does on the edge guard. Great stall by Dill. Yep, just hung out longer than Numbers uh, thought he could. And once again, every time he's jumping in the air, he's getting hit by aerial smash attacks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's it's such a painful thing. Wow. Run up disable, gonna be punished by a roll forward tilt. Tried to hit him with the Leonard special, it didn't work out for you, man. I'm so Leonard special. The Leonard special. I'm sticking with that. That's great. Freelancer Leonard. He's here in spirit right now. Um, okay, so pretty much the same scenario that we've been seeing throughout the whole set. Um, numbers at the ledge, Dill down tilting. Numbers are getting hit in the air and not landing. So um, invigorating stuff, guys. Uh, another aerial Almost or over 100% lead now. He oh, got, he doesn't cancel God, it. Second time he gets caught it. by that. Numbers. Numbers, please. Oh, man. An unfortunate no, finish for numbers, what? but is this, this still is looking dominant with Mewtwo really the whole night. Uh, very, very little of Diddy Kong, if at all. Uh, I didn't see his early round matches, but uh, very well played. <laughs> that one's, he's, he's he was going, ready for that wall jump. Yeah, he's going to Smash Con, correct? Uh, so, yeah, they both are, yeah, I think. Yeah, we're so, leaving out tomorrow morning. Okay, cool. yeah. So I think um, this is a good practice for all secondaries because um, Dill's Mewtwo has gotten a lot better yeah, it looks really throughout good. the months. Um, uh, tonight he beat uh, Milk, Sage, and King Arc, all without going Diddy, and Numbers, all without going Diddy. Uh, yeah. We saw the Sheik one game against King Arc, and that was it. Uh, the rest <laughs> of it was all Mewtwo. <laughs> Sheik in 2017, who does that? I know, but, right? Uh, yeah, uh, Sheik can't a, kill. Uh, uh, she, uh, she I mean, he, he, Wario lived till 192 in that game, wanna but play Fox. regardless. Oh, yeah. Um... But yeah, that was a pretty pretty strong show from Dill's Mewtwo. Um, I feel like he's warming it up for SmashCon. It looks looks pretty ready. Yeah, it definitely looks pretty good. Looks pretty ready. Uh, are we doing an interview or are we what, done? What are we doing? What? Sure. Okay. Uh, Dill wants a five second interview, so uh, I'll talk to him, I guess. Okay. Later, uh, guys. Bars, nice commentating with you as always. Uh, and we're going to take a break here while I get joined by Dill. <laughs> okay, well, first of all, Zyvon, I've ever been coming. Interviewed by you? Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Dill. Well done tonight. Yeah, thanks. Uh, so nice how, how did you feel? Uh, we didn't see your Diddy at all. Uh, did you play Diddy at all tonight in the yeah. early rounds? Or? I played Diddy in most matchups, to be honest, but mm. Mewtwo is like... I use Mewtwo a lot against House, yeah, actually. Like right. <laughs> yeah, so uh, we, uh, we saw uh, the last four sets, you went Mewtwo and then one game of Sheik. Uh, were you considering going Diddy at any point during that? Yeah, who did I play before King Arc? Uh, it was Milk, the Wario. Oh, right. I also played Mewtwo and Sheik against him. Yep. And then King Arc, both Sheik. Yeah, I did not play Diddy yeah. for any of my stream matches. Uh, yeah, that is just unusual. That's just bracket luck. That's literally... Right. Yeah. It makes me unhappy because those characters are less practiced, like, now, nowadays. Fair yeah. enough. What was, uh, what was the hardest part of uh, the Grand Finals there? Until I swear to God. When I ran off stage and he spiked me, and I had to realize that I had to keep cool after my idiotic decisions. Fair enough. Can argue with that. <laughs> so any, uh, so this is your this is the last tournament before SmashCon, of course. Mm -hmm. Going out there, you ready for that? I'm hoping. I've been. I'm. I think someone commented about my smiley face, my frowny face tags. Right. Which is I've been having a controller crisis because I keep losing my controller. The best one I have right now is Devin's, the streamer right there. But he's entering SmashCon too, so this is, you know, hmm. not a great situation. Well, that sounds like an issue. Yeah, so, you know, it might be a little bit troublesome. Hopefully our pools aren't at the same time, otherwise I'll right. be forced to use some other one. Uh, yeah. Uh, are you entering just Smash 4? Yeah, or? just Smash 4. Okay. Not even double. Huh, okay. Uh, so, yeah, well, congratulations on winning tonight. 
Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of great wins, winning winner's side the whole way. Yeah. So, uh, well done. Hello, numbers. <laughs> okay, so guys, if you see me How's at SmashCon and you want a money match, I'll have a sign that says $5 money matches. <laughs> I can't get on the screen good. <laughs> and please uh, follow $1 billion on Twitter. It will not affect your Twitter experience, but I'll appreciate it. <laughs> and I answer DMs. They're open. Fair enough. Anyway, yeah, I won two Xenos in a row after not winning yeah, one for like stuff. eight weeks or something. It's been a long time. John hasn't won like in, in eternity, I think. John, um, that's unfortunate. John is right here providing his commentary on every part of this interview. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, John, John with some great sets tonight. Uh, dropping it in grands against Dill's Mewtwo, though. So, Dill, congratulations on winning your second straight Xeno. Uh, look forward to seeing you at SmashCon and uh, be back next week, I guess. Thanks. Anyway, guys, thank you for tuning in tonight, Xeno74. My name is Zyvon, and we will see you next week. Uh, everyone tune in to SmashCon this weekend. It's going to be a great time. Have a good night, guys.